Hi there, my name is Annabelle. Welcome back to my channel. This is Biblical B. This is where we seek to recover Biblical Christianity in our immediate community. Welcome back guys. So today's video is a bit impromptu, kind of a rant of some sort and it's about Queen Elizabeth II, the late. Uh, Queen Elizabeth II, who is United Kingdom's longest serving monarch, has died at the age of 96. Her son, now King Charles, said the death of his beloved mother was a moment of great sadness for him and his family and that the loss would be deeply felt around the world. However, as the royal family and Britain mourns the death of the queen, some people have decided to vent their hatred and frustration at the monarch. Professor Uju Anya wrote a tweet on Twitter that read as such. I heard the chief monarch of a thieving, genocidal empire is finally dying. May her pain be excruciating. Obviously, this was extremely shocking for a lot of people and when she was asked to apologize, she then tweeted, if anyone expects me to express anything but disdain for the monarch who supervised a government that sponsored the genocide that massacred and displaced half my family and the consequences of which those alive today are still trying to overcome, you can keep wishing upon a star. Okay, so I'm going to try and be very sensitive and speak from a place of love and not so much from a place of condemnation because I don't think that I'm better than this particular professor. She's definitely more educated than I am or probably will ever be. She has more intelligence than I do. So this is not so much to put her down, but this is kind of to bring a different perspective. As Christians, we are taught about the art of forgiveness. And Christianity is unique in that way because our faith is actually based on forgiveness. Jesus Christ died on the cross that we may receive grace, that we may receive forgiveness. But God actually expects us to also forgive our enemies and to love our enemies. The attitude where we kind of dance on our enemies' graves and enjoy the suffering of their families, this is not a worthwhile endeavor. I know a lot of people think that their pain and bitterness is within their control, but pain and bitterness and anger will always control you. What I'm trying to say is that whether or not the queen is guilty of all the things that people are saying that she did is not the point. The point is that we ought to love even those people we think have hurt us, even those who have persecuted us, because we were loved. We love others, even our enemies, because we were enemies of God. And he loved us when no one else loved us. Remember the story of Hosea and Goma. God calls the prophet Hosea, to portray the fractured relationship between God and his people. Goma, who is a portrayal of you and me, betrayed her husband. Though Hosea would have been perfectly within his right to divorce and do away with Goma, God asks him to take her back and to love her because this is what God has done with us. Though we are deserving of all the punishment, though we are deserving to be tossed aside, God has decided to love us and in the same way he expects us to love our enemies. I know this is not the message that people want to hear. I know that anger makes us feel good but we ought not to participate in this type of behavior especially as Christians. So that's all I had for you guys today. I hope you guys um, take what I'm saying seriously. It honestly grieved my heart so much to see this uh, tweet um, and yeah that's all I have for you guys today. If you like what you've had, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget to leave a comment. If you disagree, leave a comment. Okay, bye.